So I'm making this video to let you guys know that the uh, Dakota digital speed converter is not working as I would like it to work. It will work, but the only issue is when you hit a stoplight or when you stop, it takes, sometimes it takes a little while for the speed to register. I was working with the tech on this and uh, I guess we couldn't figure it out, but you know, I don't know if there's another speed converter box out there that works better or that works correctly. And I'm just gonna show you what it does. Also in this video, I will explain my installation process of the Dakota Digital SGI 100BT speed converter box. That's the issue. Okay, so on this SGI 100B box, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a cable that I know will be power. So I'm gonna use this yellow and red cable. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tap it into the existing Integra harness. And this is the OBD one harness and this is a 95 Acura Integra and uh, with plug A um, I'm gonna go all the way to the end and with this black <coughs> excuse me with this yellow and black stripe I know this is the um, the AC on actually the voltage on so when you turn on your car on the second position this is going to give power so i'm going to tap the ignition positive to this yellow and black so with this a plug um what i could do to test to see if this works is i could use a test light and what i'll do is i'll turn the ignition on on okay with the scotch lock locking in the positive power next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a black cable so I know it's ground and what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna connect it to this connector and then I'm gonna ground it to the chassis is I'm gonna disconnect the battery and I'm gonna take the battery out because I will have easier access to the wiring harness okay so now I had to kind of pull this harness through because uh, there wasn't really much harness I could I could play with so I kind of had to route it uh, take it out from the engine bay and then kind of feed it in but anyways, um, so on the plug A, you want to locate pin 18. And pin 18 on the RSX Type S harness, um, it's going to be this color right here. Uh, the white green stripe. And so what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to follow it up. And you're gonna you're gonna see here that it splits. Uh, it's two wires into one, and this goes to the this goes to the speed sensor. So what I want to do is I want to take this tape off. Okay, once the tape is removed, you're gonna see this white. These two white wires with green stripes connect to this one single white wire green stripe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this clamp right here.
And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect this wire. I'm just going to call this my white wire, but this one has a red stripe on it. This is coming from the speed signal sensor. And I am going to go into the input on this box. These two uh, white green stripe and then this and I'm going to route a blue line with that and then this blue line is going to go on the to output four and and I'm using this blue black wire and this goes to the uh, wire that goes into two wires which is the white green stripe wire which goes to the ECU and the gauge cluster. So the next thing I want to do here with this box is I'm going to hold down the set button while I turn the ignition on on and get this option. I already set my option, but by default, um, it's going to say, I believe, high to high or I'm not sure what it is but what you need to do is you need to select press the set there's the tack there's the Bluetooth um, so here I pressed the set um, a few times to get to here and this is where you want to change it because what we are doing is we're changing the speed sensor which is high frequency to a low frequency so that way the ECU and the gauge cluster can read um, what's going on so once that is done Here, you're going to want to install the Dakota Digital app. This, I find, is the most easiest way to do this. So, I have it installed, and I'm going to launch this app. And you're going to want to, you're going to want to pair it with the Bluetooth to the, uh, the SGI box. And to pair that, I'm going to have to... Turn the ignition on off. Hold down on the set button while I turn the ignition on. Okay. I'm going to press the set until I. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth. The DDXS B8A0. So I'm going to pair that with the box. And it's going to alternate, which means it's paired up. And click done. And then I'm just going to turn ignition off. And then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to start the car. And... I am going to start the app and since I had another one installed, the one that I just installed, I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to click on the setup, speed, and Again, the best thing to do is to have someone drive while you are turning in or tuning in your um, miles per hour. Um, just make sure that the output is the high-low, you know, because if you are installing the 
high frequency transmission with the low frequency, you know, the uh, 04, the K Pro uh, version 4, the 02, the 04 RSX, and and here it has a GPS, um, which will show you how fast you're going. And then what you want to do is when you're driving, you want to look at your speed. And I'm going to use the uh, at. Actually, I'm going to use the um, K Pro software to see how fast I'm going, and I'm going to com compare my speeds with that, and I'm going to dial it in that way. And then to dial it in, it's either um, if you need to. Uh, compensate for your speed it's either the plus or the negative okay here I am at a complete stop If you need to see how I wired up my speed sensor for the K-series transmissions with a high frequency signal, watch my other video in this link above. If you like this content, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching.